What up, Dope Fresh Nation? Son. So you're probably wondering, like, what the F is going on? That's right. We're going to try something different in today's vlog. And this might be a thing. Not sure yet. But I wanted to switch it up and tell you guys a story. Uncle Jesse bedtime story. And this story is pretty interesting. This is a story that my dad loves to talk about. And it's a story about the time that I almost died. And we'll do it in the Draw My Life style. So check it out. I got a little picture here. This is about the age I probably was when I almost died. I was, <laughs> I was like maybe five, six, four. I don't know how old I am here, but that looks about the age that this You're probably happened. Like five, right here. And I just graduated, and maybe kindergarten. That's why I'm rocking that thing. Got my little Jesse thing. <laughs> and my graduation cap, dude. I think it's so funny how Jesse has like. The hugs juice on the step, and that, that I swear that looks like a hamburger. It probably is. My mom, like I love the McDonald's. Mom, my mom's brother, like, congratulations, McDonald's cheeseburger. I'm so big for it. All right, so let's jump into the stories. So yeah, I was about between the ages of four and six years old, and we lived in Philly, my family and I, and we lived above our family business. My parents owned a store in Philly, and we lived on the top, and the store was on the bottom. So it was kind of like a little apartment type of place. No air conditioning in it. And I'm hanging out with one of my friends. He was my neighbor, but he was like my best friend at the time. He was maybe like two years old. He was two years old. <laughs> he was like two or three. I don't know. This is so hard to remember. My dad used to tell this story. He still does. He probably tell it better than me. Dad, if you're listening, if I'm messing the story up, I'm sorry. Anyways. Um, he was he was young, but he was so young, like he his parents let him do whatever he want. We lived in Philly. Parents didn't care. Kids just ran wild, no matter what age they were. So he was at the age where he couldn't talk yet, though. But he was old enough to play. Oh, so your best friend then. <laughs> because he was my only friend. All right, shut up. <laughs> so we're we're playing in the in our apartment upstairs above the store, hanging out. You know, no parents around because my parents are running the business downstairs. And I, we're playing our, in my bedroom. I don't know what the game was or what we we're doing, but somehow I ended up in this closet that's in my bedroom. And this closet is tiny. It's super tiny. But it was big enough for me to get inside and the door to shut. But the, like it was weird. This closet, it, like it had a doorknob and all, but when you shut the door, it latched shut because the, the latch was on the outside. So if you push it closed, you're in there. Like there's no getting out from the inside unless you could kick the so door down. The kind of door that locks all the so I must have went in the closet. My best friend at the time, his name is Anthony, must have shut the door and I'm locked in. What a friend he is. <laughs> and Anthony's too little to reach up to the latch and let me out and there's no and I can't do it from the inside of the door. So like I said, this is a tiny closet. It's summertime. There's no air conditioning. It was probably it could have been like up to a hundred and some degrees in our house. And I'm locked in this closet, freaking out now. Now I'm really getting scared and Anthony can't get me out. So he, the way my dad says it, like he came down to the business where my dad's at and I was trying to explain to him where I'm at. He's crying and stuff, but my dad can't understand him because the kid doesn't even talk yet. He's like two, three years old. My dad's like, get out of here. Like, I don't know, I got to do business, leave, you know? And Anthony leaves and he lived right next door. So he must've just went back to his house, hanging out. Maybe, I don't know how, how much time went by, but maybe an hour, two hours, who knows, comes back and it's trying to explain to my dad again, like, look, you know, Jesse's in the closet upstairs and he's crying at this point. So my dad's like, okay, you know what? Well, I, let me try and figure out what's going on. So he, he like, I think he likes to pull him upstairs, brings him upstairs and my dad can hear me screaming, but he can't figure out where the hell I'm at. So he's looking, you know, look, he told me he looked out the window. He thought maybe I'd be hanging from the window. He didn't know what the hell because it was on the second story. Then he eventually figures it out that I'm in this closet and he opens it up and he pulls me out and I'm sweaty, I'm drenched. Six year old kid drenched. And he seems to think if I was in there any longer, I could have, you know, died from suffocation or heat exhaustion or I don't know, God only knows what I could have died from. And I was red. So he pulls me out, you know, saves my life. I could have died. Anthony bounced. He, I think Anthony already had enough. And yeah, and that was the story of how I almost died. And, and like, if you go back to that apartment, like my dad still owns the business. If you go upstairs, the closet door, the lock now is like turned backwards. So now it doesn't lock from the outside anymore. He like took it apart and put it back on there. 
But yeah, so maybe one day I'll go over there and show you guys a video and a vlog of the actual closet. That's what I need to do. I need to go show you guys the closet. So, uh, were you still friends with Anthony after that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, once I left Philly, I kind of lost touch with Anthony. So, I wonder how Anthony said, Yo, Anthony, you saved my life too, bro. If you ever see this video, <laughs> you probably won't remember, but you were two and, you, and I almost died. So, there would have been no... Jesse, there would have been no cookie dance, there would have been no pranks if it isn't for Anthony. Shout out to Anthony for saving my life. And uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the story I wanted to share with you guys. And I guess let us know if you like these Uncle Jesse stories and you think they're dope freshest and maybe we'll keep it up maybe once a week, maybe once a month. Who knows? Just something a little different from the vlog. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. On the streets. Sot. Get it, boo, get it, get it, left, right, left, right. I'm training bamboo to box. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, he's standing up. <laughs> <laughs>